Wow. Thanks for showing me the cars today, Jay. This is fantastic. I asked my comedy buddy, Jeremy Hotz, down to the garage today. He's a really funny comedian. Women and men were so different. Women like musicals, don't they? Do you like them? I hate them, man. That Les Miserable crap. <laughs> As you can see, pretty grumpy guy. Man, it's stupid. It's completely unbelievable. The guy's walking down the street and then he suddenly sings and everyone's fine with it. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is take him to a place where he can have some fun. California's oldest theme park, Knott's Berry Farm. Let's take that one, man, let's go. Uh, that would be fun, but I thought we'd slow it down a little bit, take something, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah? Come on. Is it cool like, like these? Sort of, yeah. Yeah? This is my 1916 autocar coal truck. Yeah, I can see you're excited about it. Yeah, see, this is uh, one of the oldest car companies in America. It's got a twin cylinder boxer type engine like a BMW. But it makes all kinds of torque. It's really uh, an amazing vehicle. I don't know, man. It, it doesn't look comfortable at all. I mean, no, no, these fold down. You don't sit like this. Those, those come down. But ready to go? Let's start it up. All right. Jeremy's probably the biggest kid I know. Not because he's filled with a childlike wonder, but because he complains about everything and is a pain in the ass. Hold the seat on the other side. Okay. Hold it right here. We are ready to go. I don't think you can take this on the highway, Jay. That's why I thought of everything. I got some of these old maps. This will show us how to get down there by going around the highway. Road trip. It's actually pretty comfortable, huh? I don't like the feel of it, Jay. I gotta say, it doesn't seem safe, you know? It's really windy, because it doesn't have a windshield. That's the beauty of it. There's nothing to clean. Yeah, you could look at it like that. Do the seats recline? Well, lucky you got a seat. Jeez, it's shooting at us, Jay. We don't have any brakes, so I don't want to go much faster. Oh, great. Seriously, are we are we there? I We're mean, almost this is, here. This is ridiculous. You're gonna love it. Believe you, me. You could have chosen any truck for this, and you. I wanted to have something that gave us the feel of the old days. Knott's Berry Farm is one of America's oldest theme parks. In fact, it opened around 1920. Howdy. Hi, I'm Jay. Hey, Jay. I'm Eric. I'm your farm historian here at Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, this is Jeremy. Hey, hey Jeremy. Buddy. I'm Eric. I hope you're having a great day. He's thrilled to be here. Yeah. Hop in the back. <laughs> This is uh, Walter and Cordelia Knott's original farmland. They came to this property in 1920. Walter and Cordelia had a very popular farm with boysenberries and fried chicken. The popularity of all these things encouraged Walter Knott to build this ghost town about 1941. That shows you what an exciting area it was when the boysenberry was the most exciting thing. Yeah. <laughs> Popped up on boysenberries and yeah. the guy builds a ghost town? Believe it or not, that wow. was all it took. Those were the this days. This entire place was built on food. That blacksmith looks so lifelike. What the is he? The blacksmith, believe it or not, he's one of our real ones. Oh, that's a real blacksmith, OK. Walter not made sure we had a sheriff's office, but he also made sure we had Goldie's Joint. Goldie's Joint is, well, our town brothel, believe it or not. What are you talking about? Oh, well, I'll leave it at that. Now, Walter Knott wanted to keep up with the Joneses, so he wound up continuing to grow Ghost Town. He was introduced to a man named Bud Hurlbut. He gave us something like this, the Calico Mine Ride. His name was Hurlbut? His name was Hurlbut. No, come on. Bud Hurlbut. OK, come on. Did he ever think of changing his name from Hurlbut? It just seemed like. It's a stupid name, I'm, isn't it? I mean, if he had children, it seemed like they're teased. Get beat up every day. Despite his rather unfortunate last name, Wendell Bud Hurlbut was at the forefront of themed rides. In fact, Walt Disney visited many times and was so inspired by Hurlbut's dark ride concept, he modeled many of his own attractions after Hurlbut's. The log ride and mine ride turned Knott's Berry Farm from just a little roadside attraction into a full-fledged theme park. But then there came roller coasters. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, Knott's continued to innovate with coaster after coaster. 
you've actually got a nice roller coaster up ahead. It's a beauty. It's accelerator. It's only 82 miles an hour. Hey, wait, I don't do roller coasters. There, nobody told me we were going on a roller coaster. Seriously, Jay, let's go back to the whorehouse. You're going to have the time of your life. This roller coaster catapults you to 82 miles an hour in 2.3 seconds. And the hydraulic motors produce over 10,000 horsepower. That's like 10 Bugatti Verons coming at you at full speed. I don't want to do hey. it, man. Jeremy? It took a lot of work, but I think I finally got Jeremy to stop whining. Do we get that? No, we didn't get it. We got to do it again. No. No. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.